In this movie, we're going to go over a few template limitations. In the previous lessons, we've shown how to modify and use the basic standard boilerplate templates that come with Crystal Reports. However, not all templates are created equal, and there are some limitations on what you can use and when you can use it. Choosing the Report menu and then Template Expert, we're going to go ahead and choose Corporate Blue. Notice here in the preview, this little icon has a chart and then the detail broken out. If you press OK here, you get the following error message saying Crystal Reports could not apply the template to the document. In order to use some of the more complicated and complex templates, you actually have to have it set up. Meaning, if I chose one that had a chart like I just attempted to do, you would also have to have a chart somewhere here on your report. Another limitation is the number of groups and the detail levels that you like to see. For example, in this template, the detail level contains only one section. Very easy to read. Everything you read straight across. Very clean. However, if we go back to our template expert and choose another one such as grayscale and press OK, notice we have an extra section in between. We have a details A and a details B section. This increases the size of the report, both printed and in electronic format, and in some cases makes it a little more difficult to read. It really will come down to exactly what you need to see and how you like to see it or how your end users would like to see the data. Another limitation has to do with the export function. Some templates export cleaner than others. Usually a safe bet if you're just trying to keep a fancy format and keep it pretty is to use PDF. If you try and take a fancy format and export it into Excel, it doesn't always translate as well. In the next lesson, we're going to discuss modifying a template for your own uses.